Hey guys, it's me, Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop. Well, today for our Sunday evening blog, we are we are working on the second part. We've got it done, and this is the second game board that we're going to be releasing over the next four weeks. Okay, we've still got two more to two more to fabricate. Okay, well, what we opted to do uh, is I decided to make up a dice game board. Okay, a lot of you right now probably have heard of and play a game called Farkle, okay? It's also gone by Bones, and uh, let me uh, let me get to close to 50 glasses here. Okay, it's gone by Farkle, Farkel, Cosmic, Whipout, Greed, Hot Dice, Squelch, Zilch, Zonk, and Darsh, okay? These are all trademark names, so of course, obviously, I'm not going to put any part of a trademark name on anything I mill, okay? It's protected through copy and usage rights. We're not going to go there, okay? So we're just calling this Dice Rules, okay? Now, since all these manufacturers have seen to just copy each other's rules, designed a little bit of a different board, and then slapped their name on it, I don't have a problem putting a generic set of uh, rules on my board, okay? Which is what we did. We've included you three boards. This is just one of the designs. My wife picked it out. She liked it. Uh, I have actually put the rules in. In the blog itself, we're going to give you guys the links where to go and also print off uh, score sheets as well as official rules for the game of Farkle, okay? But by no means am I endorsing or am I affiliated or associated with anybody, all right? It's a simple game. It involves six dice, okay? Six six-sided dice. Uh, I happen to have this little, quaint little fleece bag kicking around. They're nothing out of the ordinary. You can get them at the buck store, I'm sure. Okay? And that is pretty much what is involved. Pencil and a paper or your downloadable uh, printable score sheets. Those dice and that board. And, and you've got hours of fun, okay? Well, you also, I'm going to give you guys a couple of options too right now as to how to finish these. Some of you, as you can see in the middle here, you may not want the rules put in. Steve, I'd like maybe a, a felted bottom. Well, to try to get your felt cut exactly perfect to fit in, that's a little difficult. But what you can do is you can do this thing known as flocking, okay? Green and red are probably my two favorite colors. Flocking is nothing more than a, it's a pulverized, powdered-like felt, okay? It would be loaded into what's known as a flocking gun. You put it in the top, it's solid on the bottom, and it's got holes on the top. You would take uh, a matching paint to the color of the flocking you use. In this case, it's a green enamel. It's an oil-based enamel. I paint the area with the green paint that I'd want for the flocking to stick to. Uh, I personally wouldn't do my sides, but that's okay. I would paint just what's in the flat, load up the flocking gun, i pump the flock all over the board, if that was the way I wanted to do it. Uh, however, we're not. What I'm going to choose to do, uh, you see next to me, is a two-part uh, Envirotech light. It's a pour-on high-gloss finish. You guys have probably seen these in bar tops. Because we're going to be rolling dice, and this is done out of a piece of two-and-a-half-inch uh, cut-off slab pine that we use for the headboards, I opted to, to, to make this piece the way I made it. Well, I am going to mix up my two-part epoxy, 50-50. I'm going to pour it in here probably about an eighth of an inch deep. I'm going to let it dry overnight, and then I'm going to have a nice solid bottom to roll my dice on, okay? The back is plain. I apologize. I thought I had uh, a couple yards of felt kicking around here, which I don't. What I would do in this case, or what I am going to do in this case, I'm going to lay my felt out on a piece of cardboard, okay? I'm going to set this over the top. I'm going to take any little, any little hobby kit with different scalpels and whatnot, uh, little different scalpel blades, and I'm going to cut my template out, okay? Uh, using this as my template, I'm going to cut my, my felt out. Once my felt is cut, I will use some, uh, some painter's tape. You guys have probably seen this in the hardware stores or whatever. I get the wide stuff though, and I go all the way around the board with it. Get yourself a can of uh, spray-on adhesive 3M or, you know, that's, that's the brand I buy because that's what I find. I think Elmer's also makes one. 
You spray it on. And then what you do is you can take uh, you take the tape all the way off. Basically, you don't want any of the uh, adhesive spray hitting the finished polyurethane side, okay? And then you'd slowly lay your uh, lay your piece of felt on and work it. If anything sticks out and beyond, well, when it's dry, you could trim it. Then you've got a nice felted bottom. You could either, again, like I said, flock the top, or you could. Uh, in my case, I'm going to do a pour. Uh, these little two-part kits, a small one like this is 20 bucks, I think. And you, you get a bunch of boards done with it, okay? Well, that is about it for the game. Uh, we've got, like I said, we've got two more, two more coming out. I'm not going to get into the rules with this. I gave you guys links uh, through the blog in which to click on. They'll take you right to uh, the Farkle rules, okay? Like I said, Farkle is a trademark name, so I was not going to put a trademark name on my board. You could personalize these though if you're, you're thinking of making one for even a family member or a, a little fella or, or whatever this year for Christmas. You know, and you could, you could custom mill uh, Billy's Dice Game, Susie's Dice Game, Kathy's Dice Game, Bobby's Dice Game, whatever, you know? And you could personalize it. And that I think would go over pretty well with a, with a, with a little young person, okay? Well, as always guys, you have been absolutely awesome. Thank you for the support. The videos are getting shared. Like I said, this is this is part of our free library that I just I just recently moved out of one cloud service uh, over into Google Drive. The files are wide open for you to share. Like I said, however you choose to mark them up, if you want to put a different different title on this, well, that's entirely up to you. I left them generic though, due to due to any trademarks or anything like that. Okay. But I guess we'll uh, we'll tie this up today. And if you guys can ever think of anything or something you'd like to see, please shoot us an email. Okay? All right, guys. You take care. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday with you and yours. And uh, we'll see you this week. Bye bye.